Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are back with more RimWorld today continuing the anomaly playthrough and here we are looking at the site of one of our latest tragic deaths here. Ga lost his head and he lost his legendary SMG but no worries guys we've got a stately place set out for him well not quite yet but I will shortly and we're gonna lay Ga to rest here inside our little void ritual room and just move on with our lives unfortunately he's got a few other colonists ahead of him who are in line for the resurrector mech serums if we ever get our hands on them that is but not to mention we've got a bunch of loot out here still too that i'm really interested in checking out and stuff like that if you missed the last episode and you're interested in seeing how this all played out right here well i've got a link to the playlist down in the description so you can check that out but we've got ourselves a little strike force out here man oh man we've been dealing with all kinds of mischief and craziness here you can see we got the remains of one of these flesh mass hearts we did destroy it though so that's on the recession and the colony itself i think is doing okay Unfor you know like aside from the fact we just lost somebody <laughs> we're doing okay out here so far so good let's take a quick look at our entity codex yes that's right we filled out all the advanced we've got the flesh mass new nucleus in our little capture bay down there in restraint and we've only got two more anomalies those are the ultimates now i've been thinking about it and before we actually try and provoke these or do the monolith here which i think is what we'll need to do to get those active i'm gonna revamp i think the front lines here i don't love this kill box i've talked about adding a third little layer of traps i think that that's the least of what i can do you know and i'm going to kind of try and redesign some of this one thing i might do is bring it out a little bit farther to about right here so the wall is here and here and then i'm going to have the exit point for the for the enemy raiders instead of coming out to the side here i'm going to have them come out in the middle i think that's an ideal situation you know what i'm saying but regardless guys we won't get into the details just yet until i've actually accomplished something but I hope you guys are excited for the series and the episode today. So let's unpause and get started. Nice. So those mega sloths we saw out there were actually part of a quest. And this is the reward for completing it. We've now got four psychic sensitizers. And I chose these specifically because they will help with whatever kind of void rituals we're doing and stuff. Now, I'm going to say it's not really the ideal time to be performing those kind of elective surgeries at the moment. But we're just really low on medicine as usual. But uh, don't worry i've got some fields converted over here for heel root so we should have some on the way in fact this looks like yeah they're in the middle of harvesting it right now but oh my gosh we're still just cleaning things up guys picking up some of the interesting loot and i did select a person Look at this. I can equip this Persona Mono Sword so for whatever reason it's not biocoded. I had mentioned this in the last episode. I saw it there and I was shocked by it. It's it looks amazing. And um in case you're unaware, I do have a mod installed. It doesn't show it here, but it's a vanilla persona weapons enhanced or something like that it's a pretty cool mod it's part of the mod collection too which is linked down in the description by the way but yeah this is going to be really good too psychic hypersensitivity now it does have the mad wailing on there but that's not the end of the world that's not the end of the world nonetheless i think this is something we can bond to somebody one of our people so unfortunately i don't have any melee people at the moment but as i mentioned we've got a couple of uh, corpses over here which are melee dedicated pawns and we're going to use our mech resurrectors on them first Oh my god, this is the second mental break Scourge has had since she joined us, and that was very recently, in fact. She's one of these weird, mysterious stranger types. She's the one who's got body mastery. Although, she's the first type of pawn I like this that I've encountered, and I have no idea how far or what she's going to do, but I am really strongly tempted to just throw her in prison and take some of her organs maybe use her for some chronophagy rituals because she's been a problem 
even in just a short time she's already uh butchered one of my anomalies so yeah i'll just leave her around because like i've mentioned having the extra gun is very helpful in pair of hands but if she goes on another violent mental break then that will be her last Okay, well, we've waited long enough, and we're installing one of the psychic sensitizers, the very first one, in Tentacle Blood. And I'm going to watch this closely, because she is very near and dear to my heart. She's also one of our most advanced pawns, with two bionic legs, and of course, she's pretty tricked out with some tentacles and flesh mass organs. Unfortunately, I very foolishly destroyed that uh, obelisk that mutates or gives people the flesh mass stuff. No! What happened to her? This is what I was afraid of. Okay. Oh, look at that brain. Stab scar, stab scar, scratch scar. Stab scar times two. Jesus Gallagher, what is wrong with you, my friend? What is this? Look at this. He's only got a 12, but that should have been enough. Well, that was technically brain surgery, so I guess that was a hard thing to take care of. Oh my God, she's coming out of this. She's not coming out. She's not going to be able to do much. She's a 5 of 10. Absolute terrible. Uh, and we lost the sensitizer, too. Of course, when it fails like that, that sensitizer or whatever bionic you're installing is just gone. But, god damn it. Well, to all you fans of Tentacle Blood out there, don't worry. Not all hope has been lost. So we just did another skip abduction here. And if the, it's, of course, a furry. If it's not a good furry, we'll go ahead and just harvest the brain. Jealous, annoying voice. Yeah, I like the look of that. Normally, I'm disappointed when we get a band pawn, but this time I'm excited. So, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just uh, go ahead and grab her. And let's do a little brain surgery on this one. Check this out. Oh, we got ourselves a ghoul attack. And yes, I am excited about it. This is one of the first ones we've seen. Obviously, we have seen one before because we've got the little entity page for it. Or the codex filled out. But, you know, I am also aware there's a uh, starting scenario with the Anomaly DLC. Where you can start with a ghoul colonist too. Which is like a really good melee fighter as I understand it. Yeah, look, it says engineered murder machines. I love it. Now, I didn't. We, of course, started with just the lone or the rich explorer scenario. I thought that would be a little creepier having just a single guy, you know, trying to build up, you know, the horror colony. But regardless, this is cool. Now, of course, this one's hostile, so we're going to have to take it out. But I don't know. Is it actually coming in to attack? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's going to come right through the trap funnel. Okay, the ghoul has entered the compound. Let's speed it up a little bit here because there's no traps for him to trip at the moment. You can see we're in process of rebuilding. But I've ordered a small little strike force here. I should call them a shooting gallery. Let's just see how hard these things are to kill. Because I'm not really sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, good. I was going to say, it's not being slowed down by the bullets. Good, good, good. Well, that wasn't too bad. I just, I am kind of curious to see how they act when they actually get into melee combat. In other words, how effective they are. But, well, they don't seem to have much more resilience than your average pawn does, do they? Engi here is not just supplying us with the brain, but as you can clearly see, although Engi can't, we are taking a few extra organs too at the same time. Yes, I know it's slightly grotesque and macabre, guys, but this is the way the Rim World runs. Now, as you can see, I've got a whole list of stuff. This is another mod set, Harvest Everything. Really great mod, I love it. And we're going to be using these for a lot of different uh, of our colonists. Now, unfortunately, Enge only has one nose, and we've got like, I don't know, four people missing their noses for whatever reason. But um, yeah, I've also got it restricted to just two of our doctors. I said, you know what, Gabru, just take a break from operation. Or no, I'm sorry, Gallagher, just take a little break from your operations there. I'm still a little pissed at him for hurting my girl tentacle blood, but she's actually up and running around despite having two f <laughs> whole bunch of scars on her brain she's not too bad she's at 70 percent but we're still giving her the brain priority there is one other person who has a brain scar 
as well. I think it was one of the furries, but it, it's a very minor scar. It's only uh, giving them one uh, hit to their hit points or whatever. So, like I said, we've got people undergoing surgeries at the moment. So this is kind of our recuperation period. You know, the calm before the storm and stuff. Oh, you know what? Dang it, I should suspend the Engie's final fatal operation here. Where is it? I put a brain operation up, or maybe I haven't done it yet. Okay, that's perfect. And we're gonna throw her into the scanner as well, trying to get as many of these going as possible. What is this? Scourge has just had some insane ramblings, third mental break, and reason depressive. Oh my god, you know, she's also of a different ideology too, obviously, so she's got a lot of negatives here. <laughs> Look at we butchered human like, yeah, get used to it, but let me tell you what, Scourge, you are th skating on thin ice over here. Big news, check it out. We just finished the research for philo philophagy, I think. Yeah, philophagy. Okay, so perform a psychic ritual that drains experience from a victim and gives it to the invoker. The process will dull the target's mind, weakening their skills, causing brain damage. Interesting. I wonder if we can do that one multiple times, too. That's going to be cool, like on the same victim um, with that brain damage. But this might actually really help to counteract the inhumanization if I can steal like some pawn social or animal skills and give it back to our colonists. So I am definitely going to be doing this ritual here. Brain wipe. Perform a psychic ritual which erases a person's episodic memories, traumatic events, allows recruiting unwaveringly loyal prisoners. Oh man, they have thought of everything over there at Lud Ludian Studios, haven't they? Well, I tell you what, let me look through these real quick just to make sure there's not something else I want. And then we'll see what I, we decide on. Okay, well, it wasn't too hard. I think I would like to go for insane weaponry and brain wipe is definitely on the list, but death refusal, definitely it's got to be this one. So in case you're unfamiliar, perform a psychic ritual which grants death refusal to an individual, allowing them to self-resurrect once after dying. There we go. So we've definitely had a lot of fatalities and that's going to help. Now, speaking of fatalities, in addition to that news, we've also got a waste pack infestation coming up. I forgot all about these, honestly, but this is definitely one of the down sides to letting toxic waste build up in your map which i've definitely been doing as you can see i've just been placing them out here in the water so is i think this is also the kind though that just show up in a cocoon right and they'll just sit dormant until something distor disturbs them if unless i'm mistaken here so let's first restrict everybody into the safe safety of the home zone and let's just speed things up it's dark it's rainy too so it's not very much visibility. Damn. Oh, crap. I missed all this stuff down here. 15 components? Well, they haven't been there that long. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm an idiot, man. Look at this. We've even got a barrel out here and stuff. Oh, two barrels. Crap, crap, crap. Well, I was just going to let these bugs sit here and fester until something disturbed them. But now we're going to have to go out there and kill them because I forgot about the loot from a siege. I don't know how I ever could have forgotten about that mortar loot or the siege loot down there. I mean, because my mortars are sitting here just waiting on those barrels. I knew it was there too, but anyway, I got a plan. So I just launched a couple of pods filled with goodies. I got us alloyed to a new faction here, Minera. So let's check out the factions tab real quick. Give you guys a quick breakdown. We've got four allies. I need to probably give them a little refresher here, boost them a bit more. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call a couple of these folks in, maybe take care of our little insect infestation for us. I also sent a little bit to the Fallen Empire but it was it didn't it was a bunch of tainted stuff so it didn't really boost me that much but i also plan on getting them allied as well but i'm thinking about yeah let's call manera that's the one we just got an alliance with so we'll see how that goes i you know i'm actually tempted to wait though a little bit we don't have all the traps up maybe i should give my builders a little bit more time because you know, if the faction that we call doesn't finish off the insects, we'll have to deal with them. And it's always so much easier when you got full traps laid out. 
Here we go. It's our first Philophagy ritual. And Tail will be stealing a whole bunch of artistic skill from Rayet here. Now, this is good because Tail is our resident artist. And, of course, she had that inhumanization, depression, or uh, whatever it's called. It's like a mental break. So that reduced her artistic ability permanently. Now, she has persisted and brought it back up to an 8. But this is going to be big. This is going to be real big. Let's see just how much this does. Okay, it completed. Let's see. 17. Wait. Oh, so it didn't even bring her up a skill level. It just gave her a whole chunk of XP. I see, I see. And it did bring hers down. You know, that makes total sense, too, because she, since she has like a negative ability for it i don't know if that raises the skill cap or if she's i don't know but wow 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 nonetheless i'm sure it was beneficial for tail now let's look at her health oh wait that's tail oh okay i'm trying to look at the prisoner i just wanted to see about that brain damage how bad that was so let's let her get placed back in the cell and we'll take a look at her here all right what do you got going on here uh, okay, psychic scarring. Yep, yep. That's the same thing that happened to Ryan early on with a failed uh, ritual, two void ritual, but we replaced his brain. So that's not too bad. I have a feeling we will be able to do that philophagy again with her. You know, it's unfortunate we don't get to choose the skill as far as I can tell, because I would have gone for animals. But, you know, I think maybe it chooses the highest skill if I read it right. So next time, now that this one's been lowered, perhaps the animal one will work. Well, we'll just see about that because obviously I'm going to do these a bunch. Let's also real quick just see the cooldown on it. Oh, that's not bad. Five days. Okay. The traps are reset. Our ally has been called. Let's see. Ah, it's a pretty small group as I feared. They're probably pretty heavily armored, but... I also was a little bit nervous. I don't know if they're just going to straight up attack the cocoon since it's not actually like, you know, an active threat. So I think what we're going to do <laughs> is grab Scourge over here, even though she's in a terrible mood. She'll probably have a mental break while I'm trying to do this. But she actually has a decent range with that little bolt action. So we're going to bring her out here and kind of have her station herself right here and pop some of these cocoons real quick. There it is. There it is. The final mental break of Scourge's life. And unfortunately, I was right. She had it before I was able to use her for this purpose. So we're going to grab a couple people. Grace is going to come down here and provoke the insects. But I am not letting... She wants to liberate one of my entities. That is not happening. So we're going to grab a few people this time. I'm not going to just use a child to try and arrest her. She's going in the prison, willingly or not, or she might go in the freezer too. Just depends on her, really. Oh, this isn't good. Haikuja got here first, and she's only got a 40% chance to arrest Scourge. She's in a perfect position to do it. Here comes Tentacle. What's your percent chance? 60? It's a little better. I don't want to have her get into combat with Scourge just on her own, so this is tricky, though. See how close they are? What is yours, Hugh? It. Um, all right, I tell you what. Well, just for the sake of holding her up, let's go ahead and arrest her. It'll either work and we'll just take her to prison like we want, or she'll get into combat with Haikuja. Oh, okay, so she got into combat. Damn it, she's got that freaking weapon on her, too. Well, honestly, it's not terrible. Get down here, Tentacle Blood, right now. Let's get this going here. I want you to melee attack her with that flesh whip you got. Oh, thank God for those bionic legs, you know. Get closer. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. She is now dead, I think. Well, such how it is. Like I said, she's going to be headed to the freezer. All right, let's get everybody back inside then. We'll worry about that in a second. Where's Grace? Oh, she hasn't made it down here just yet. Okay, Grace is gun, even though it's far more advanced than uh, what's her name, Scourge's was. It doesn't have the same range on it, so I've given her some go juice, so hopefully she can. Perfect. Now, I thought that would instigate the whole thing, the whole cluster there. Well, I'm still not going to have her try and fight that thing alone, so fall back, Grace, real quick. Furry, what are you doing? Get out of here. And let's just see what happens. 
Are you serious? That only mm, only triggered one cocoon. God dang it. You know, the sad thing is I don't have any mortars to set that off. But now that these guys see the bug, they might actually... Well, they're definitely going to kill that, but... Crap, it's going through. All right, I got an idea. Let's get Grace back out here. Keep Keep plugging away at these things. Now they're a little closer. They might actually be drawn down to this one if we can shoot another one open. Okay, this one's going a little bit better. They killed that other one to the north. Damn it. This is so ineffective. Han, what are you doing out here? Oh, I've got her restricted to the home zone. That's the mistake. Uh, this is just not working out as I had hoped it would. Dang it, it would be so much easier if we had a mortar. You know, maybe it's better if we just get her up here and actually have her trigger them, like, physically. Because I think that'll get the whole thing going. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's what we needed right there. Get back. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I'm so glad I gave her that go juice, but yeah, that was just what we needed. Look. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Now these guys are probably going to get massacred. I imagine. Yeah. Next time guys bring a bigger group and well, maybe not. I don't see. Yeah, they're definitely, yeah, they're definitely dead. But we'll just deal with the bugs when they come through our trap funnel. Shouldn't be that hard. We, we're we still not fully strength with our turrets and stuff, but that'll be okay. Okay, so I might have made a little bit of a mistake here with Han. I forgot she was out there repairing the walls very stupidly. Okay, she's been downed. We're also going to lose a mech. I restricted everybody else, so that shouldn't happen again. Where are they going? Okay, where are these two headed? I think they're gonna they're all going for the trap funnel, so I think we'll be okay. Poor Han crawling her way in. Don't worry, we'll get her uh Ooh, she is pregnant too. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That could be bad. She might miscarry, but we're not gonna let her die, so don't worry about that, guys. I'm a little curious where these bugs are going, but um Now what the hell's happening? Where are they going? Oh, they're attacking all the animals. Oh, that's what's going on. Jesus, these bugs. Well, tell you what. Let's go ahead and not waste any time. I'm going to grab a couple of medics here. Bring them down. Just get them stationed. And yes, they're also equipped with go juice too. So we should be able to get Han. But obviously, I'm going to wait till the bugs clear this area a little bit more. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, no. One of these stupid mega striders, uh, mega spiders was down here attacking the exo strider. Why? Why are they attacking these things? Oh, well, now they're attacking our people, too. Jesus Christ, this is going to be a bad, 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 bad. Come on, get him. Go, 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 go. Oh, crap. Gabru does not have weapons. She's not violent. Come on, get in, get in. Oh, no. They are go juiced up, though. If, if if this door slows him down, for the love of God. Fall back, fall back. No, get in there. Go, go, go. No. Oh. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Damn it. No, they got in. Crap, crap. All right, let's move. Get you up to the hospital. All right. I should have pulled some people down here. What the hell was I thinking? I mean, we do have a full force of insects coming through the tunnel right now. So that's what I was thinking. But this isn't over. Oh, God, it's gaining on Gallagher. Gallagher, drop. Yep, we'll get her. We'll get her. That's what we got to do, though, you know? Okay, let me look at Han's health, actually. Four hours. She's fine. She's fine. You're perfect. Go, Gallagher. Don't get stopped. Yes, go for the aggro hand. Go for the aggro hand. Go for yes. Okay, okay. Why did I send Grace down here with that freaking sniper rifle? Okay. So I'm not paying attention. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. All right, all right. This is good. We're, we're fine. We got this. We're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup afterwards, but I'm okay with that. Yes, come on, furries. Save your colonists. All right, we're jumping around a lot, guys, but I just got to keep an eye on things up here. Okay, what few turrets we have are ready. Oh, dear God. Let's get our... Get our people back down here to rescue whoever needs it now. We're back and forth. We're back and forth. But we are going to pull this off. I'm determined. Okay, here they come. Of course, I forgot to restrict the damn dogs. Get in the barn, everybody. All right. Good, good, good. The insects are kind of in chaos, though. 
But you know what? The dog actually was kind of nice. Poor puppy, but that's okay. You did a good thing. All right, we got to skip back down south there just to see. Okay, they're good. Gabru is stabilizing Han on the spot. We'll worry about the mechs later. Get our people back up here to help. I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. Let's get a little closer. Oh, yeah, this is... It was pretty messed up, but um, that was my own fault. It's not the first time I've screwed up a little encounter here, but... Oh, okay, I think we can breathe a sigh of relief. There's still some insects on the map, obviously, but we've got it under control now, so let's check on Han real quick. Still got the pregnancy, man. If she comes through with that baby at the end of this, I'm going to be shocked, but... Regardless, guys, I think we've done it. Uh, we've saved the colony again, albeit very, very unhandily. <laughs> Nonetheless, we'll try and rescue these people out here, get a little faction influence back there. But I guess we'll end it here, guys. This is as good a place as any. You don't have to worry about the cleanup. And we'll put out the fires and go butcher the insect corpses and stuff. But thank you guys so much for joining me once again here. We are definitely nearing the end. Once we encounter these two anomalies, we're probably going to call it quits for this series and start something new, another themed run or something like that. But maybe another medieval run too with some horrors selected or thrown in there and whatnot. But I'm curious to know what you guys would like to see after this uh series is over let me know down in the comments if you got any special requests L regardless guys i hope you're enjoying it so hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel and i will see you all on the next one Hey everyone, I just want to give a personal thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their contributions help make my work possible and I am tremendously grateful to them. I'd also like to extend an invitation to you to help support my work on Patreon as well. Your donations allow me to upgrade my PC and avoid the dreaded hardware despair. It also gives me more time to devote to new projects and create longer content such as live streaming. No matter what what you decide. Thank you for visiting my channel.